the Batman, DC with the rare kick-ass movie. I don't, I'm, a, I'm afraid to rate the movie because it did better than The Eternals, and I don't want to give it a better number than a Marvel movie, so we're not going to rate the movie because that's the channel that you're on right now, Chillmonger. We lean Marvel over here, and it's no secret. So this movie with the theme that we heard all over the trailers, it's like four notes. Dun, 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 dun. And that's still in my head. And I understand the trailers and why they didn't show too much. It's a mystery. You kind of give away a puzzle. You you would reveal something. So, and I'm yeah, good good trailers. Okay, I understand the trailers. I maybe I would have changed it, but I understand why. Uh, the theme of the movie was completely dark. The theme of the movie was we're not going to show the sun once in this movie, even in the daytime. It'll be cloudy. That's what they wanted to go for. Cool. In my opinion, it's the contrast when it's more light. It'll make the darker seems more darker. So you know, provide both. But that's that's not too important. This was still a kick-ass mystery movie from beginning to end. He's Batman. Uh, early on, we're going to see him write down, it's year two, and this is my thing, October 31st. Year two, meaning he's only been Batman two years, which skips the BS stuff. Or the, the things we're tired of, but we know he's a little bit inexperienced. One specific time he was inexperienced was when he was escaping from the police facility and as he jumped up top and he kind of was gliding he used a parachute but he pulled the parachute too early it's okay because he tumbled and he was fine that that's an inexperienced sort of a rookie batman sophomore batman if you will the cast of characters here supporting batman were all good not one of them not one of these characters were bad every single character was good here around this movie including batman himself robert pattinson could he have bulked up absolutely other than that, no. And again, it is year two. Maybe he gets a little bit bigger in the next movie. When is the next movie? We don't know. The end credit scene didn't uh, allude to like more movie or nothing like that. We just sort of got a Joker tease cameo. All right, we didn't really need it. Come on. <laughs> but uh, he's Joker. You know, that's what they do. I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done that at all. Catwoman, who is the daughter of Falcone, didn't need to happen. I'm so mad that it did, man. We all remember Darth Vader revealing that he's Luke's father and no other father, sib, uh, daughter, kid, child m relationship will ever amount to this surprise of that. That's peak. Every movie that tries that is always going to be less than that initial reveal. Yes, in a way I'm saying, stop it, Hollywood. Stop saying that these two characters are related to each other. Even with the twist of, hey, do you remember Maria Kyle? Why did she? Why did she? He say that name. Shh. Maria was also the name of Monica Rambeau's mom, right? So something's going around. It's always the same parents' names here in these shows, in these movies. I liked Catwoman when she teamed up with him and eye contacts with the the technology where anything you look at, I look at, and she kind of tested it out and saw how much she could get away with. She would have to smile at some of the boys down at that iceberg club and look back a couple times. Which, damn it, that Gilbert guy. Who is still in there? Who is inside that club? Everyone is corrupt in that city. Is this science fiction? No, that was the realest part of it. Look at the real world, everybody. All of your politicians, anyone really rich, money comes from somewhere, folks. They're corrupt. So there was a lot of realism in integrated into this movie to my liking. Like I loved all of the uh anything that happened here, which was dark and twisted was not far-fetched it was based and grounded in reality and another thing the special effects the, the cgi budget all that stuff it was non-existent you could have made you could have filmed this 15 years ago with the exact resources you had back then and it would have been the same ass movie i would say that's a compliment i would say i'm saying it complimentary i don't mean it to as a they didn't utilize 2022 technology i'm not saying that i i, I did enjoy it um Batmobile wasn't too fancy. They weren't trying to sell toys like um, the old Batman movies were. I was listening to Rhea talk about the old Batman movies. She has a spoiler review for this Batman movie too. I'll plug that at the end as well as everyone else who I got to watch now. The movie itself was good. The characters were all good. But did it ever peak with the action? No. He did hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Maybe the coolest part of his action was when those guys were hanging all of the Riddler's friends online. He had like 507 followers on a social media site. 
all of those guys with their weapons, they were all hanging. And that was the coolest it ever looked. But nothing about the 507 friends. Okay. You guys remember a few years ago in Toronto, some guy was driving a van up Young Street and like aiming at women to get all the Chads and the Stacys. And he was mad. And there's like this community because uh, months prior, somebody did the same thing in Orlando where he kind of shot up a club and was going after, like there was that little community of online people. That was this. The Riddler was this. He was one of those onliners. And he actually thought that Batman was working with him when we finally caught the Riddler. And he was flipping out because, no, this is not how it's supposed to go. you got to be on my side. What's happening? He, and Batman was just not holding back during that face-to-face behind the glass. That was amazing. The Batman showing you, no, 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 I'm a good guy for real. I am a good guy. F, you were wrong straight up to your face. And when Riddler was saying, Bruce Wayne, who else thought he revealed his identity and knew who it was? But no, he was just kind of up, upset and he was kind of motivated to get Bruce Wayne. He failed. Bruce Wayne didn't die. Alfred did get exploded. Alfred. Alfred knew some things. Thomas Wayne was not a hero. But that's fine. That doesn't hurt Batman at all. Batman was going through it like, oh, man, Thomas Wayne on my legacy. I feel like he was letting those things affect him. To me, you're not guilty of what your family did prior. Uh, Maybe we can make the stretch that he benefited from all of the work that Thomas Wayne did. But that's not true. Like the dirty thing that Thomas Wayne did, which was eliminating that reporter who was going to let out the family dirty laundry. Bruce Wayne still would have had his mansion if that hadn't have happened. It's not like he benefited from that that uh, whole ordeal. I don't think Bruce Wayne's guilty of anything. In the movie, we had two mayors, one that died early on, and the second who won the election, I guess by default, and then the family was with her. Uh, she was a hero. I think it's important to have a black mayor in there, and the fact that she was seen as a hero, like, no, I'm going to talk to these people, no, screw you guys. I'm over here. I'm on the podium. And she gets shot. It makes the audience have sympathy with her. A lot of white people are going to watch this movie, a lot of young white people, and they're going to see that. And they're going to feel feel something for the black mayor, which is positive representation, sympathy, and you know things that we want moving forward to maybe challenge racism and things like that. We all know that it exists. And putting it in movies or putting counter of a repellent, you know, like a max repel, against racism in in forms of this to make people actually feel for people who don't look like them if you're white and you're watching this movie was a good thing i'm always for the diverse casting when it comes to that because it's all about the white people man you got to make them see other things so that they don't ever get the idea that they are the default and negative things can come from that we have a history of movies of white characters being in the lead like this one was this one did have a white lead character but if that's all you ever see Everything else becomes different. You feel me? We don't need that. So diverse casting. Not at the expense of a white character. Don't give me a black commissioner, Gordon. I didn't I didn't like that casting. Now the character himself did fine, but I don't like I don't want it that way. I want it this way. We'll make up a mayor character. Beale, what was her name? Yeah, good. Let's do that. Works for me. Works for me. Enough race uh chat over here on the channel. The movie ends with he and Catwoman kind of giving a goodbye. He was about to kiss her, but she kind of has has he a little bit backwards. Like, I'm not going to kiss you. Hopped on. He goes, hey, take care of yourself. She's like, okay, just going to drive. She goes left. He goes right. When I see you again. And she kind of just vanishes into the smoke because Catwoman, that's what she does. He was the bat. She was the cat. That's what happens here. Um, great, great stuff. Great riddles. URL Rata, that was crazy. It was actually URL. There was another one where he said a word and it was drive because that on the legend, that, that's the, the way he made riddles answers, not what you would expect it to be, which throw so left field was crazy. That time where he pulled the carpet because thankfully the cop who was in that room said, yeah, my dad did carpenting and I know I know a little something, something. Okay, well, when he used the tool to lift up and get the carpet out, it was something. Good riddles in this movie. Very, very good riddles. So, and the and the villain himself was good too. Quality entertainment, must watch. Maybe I'll even watch it again. Who knows? That is the review. 
I'm Chillmonger. Now, there's a whole lot of other reviews that you need to be watching from people who I watch. So if you're not done enjoying Batman, go enjoy it with these folks, everyone.